back to you at another Sonic Adventure, the color of this. Another Odyssey of the Obscurity. Another Oddity of the Impurity. Welcome back, friends, fiends, freaks, and fools. To yet another exciting installment of your favorite heavy metal, your favorite stoner company, your favorite soap opera, daytime television, late night adult entertainment at its finest, Cooking with Manly. I am your host as always, and my name is John Motherfucking Manley. What's yours, oh yeah. So, I, I wanted to make some chili dolls. That's some fucking ballparks right here. Problem is, I'm out of fucking buns. God damn, all well, I got is hamburger. We're not gonna fucking white trash that shit. We're gonna make. I got a fucking beef patty right here. And I got some chili. See that? John's chili dated over a year ago. January 2nd, 2003. Oh, let's fucking cook that trash right now as we throw this in the trash. With the rest of the trash, Kobe Bryant. <laughs> anyway. There we go. So let's heat that pig up. Year from earlier, uh, we're not gonna fucking drink. So, we're gonna fall this chili out with the help of some beer. Know what I mean? Get the freshies out. Chip spoon for your entertainment pleasure. Something to get you situated while we get you stimulated. Fucking weirdos. Alright. Put that, stir that pot of shit up. Just gotta take a little bit. Gotta have a poor bar. This is really gonna have to do some backwash and shotguns to get this shit fucking all. And that's okay. Spray lotion. Use a little olive oil on there. I guess we're gonna mix butter and oil. Butter and oil, and we'll listen to Doyle. He's a vegan, but we don't care. Uh, still love my fucking heroes. Bob. That's what it is. So got less of your music while cooking meat.
butter and oil. There's a really start of fucking fire. Oh, you can prevent forest fires. restaurants at your McDonald's or wherever wherever you find fun food family fun entertainment that's where we do it it's like cooking with manly for your family fun entertainment fiestas you know what I mean to Making a fucking sloppy Joe barbecue, but with chili and a burger. Cause uh, I don't feel like eating a fucking hot dog on a hamburger. I feel like boiling burgers. Uh, sorry, hot dogs like Homer Simpson. Sorry, Kurt Van Houten or whatever. When Luann left him in that one episode of Simpsons, he's falling out hot dogs. Got fired from the Cracker Factory as uh, it's a family thing, and that's all they say. That's all it was. They wish him farewell and good luck, but they don't recall wishing him good luck. And Homer got a gun, and he was boiling hot dogs. He thought Mars was gonna leave him, but good thing I'm not boiling hot dogs. Good thing. Oh, I don't know, fucking sucker bitch to fucking tell me what to do. That's okay. Oh, believe we learn. One day we'll find the right one, maybe not, but happy as we are. Happy as a clam. As long as I get some land clam here and there. It's not like a psychopath, but yeah. Ah, some people like marriage. Some people like kids. I like kids too, man. I have a dog, but uh, that's it. Time has sailed. Maybe I'll pull a fucking Bobby Liebling from Pentagram. Get this pregnant when I'm fucking 65. But hey, my time has sailed. I always said I'd have a kid. If I ever did, if I ever would, I'd want to have it set. But. And at the same time when my father had me, which he was like 37, 38, 39, so we're done with that. That's okay. I don't know why I'm fucking talking about weird shit like that. I get set, I have ADHD and I get set on a fucking cluster bomb with that. Ooh. I don't know why it was time for that yet. Yeah. But yeah, I say fucking love line. Let's not talk about fucking food. Al Doyle's a vegan, and that's okay. Don't come up with your monster magnet to one of my homies at one of my fucking rent places and tell him, ask him if that's how he plans on spending the rest of his life selling hot dogs and hamburgers. 300 pound dude, like, yeah. This is your beef, beef fucking giant, but. Still love his music, still love him. Still gonna go see him. Yeah. Still gonna 
they gonna see them in fucking was that April? When they come to Reverb. Actually, that's the fucking opening of the show. That tour, the Doyle tour, uh, is fucking um, March or April. I don't fucking know. All I know is the singer of uh, Doyle, Cancer, Alex Story, Mighty Cancer Slug, the lead singer. Alex the Wolfman, fucking story. Cancer Slug's coming to fucking Harrisburg or York, somewhere. Uh, Skid Row Garage, fucking 24th, or, yeah, 24th of uh, February. Go fucking see it. Definitely want to see that. That's going to be a party. Shit on everyone. Uh, myself uh, including, especially. Uh, one day we'll get a little life together, but yeah, let's fucking cook that up more. Get that more in chili mode. and ready to fucking go. <laughs> You're on the hopeless to die. That's why I love fucking Doyle. I mean, get the fuck out of here. Are we really doing this? Ah, oh, it's skipping. I'm jinxing this shit. Doyle's solo work is fucking phenomenal. I mean, think about Jerry Only Misfits. I think this song called uh, Land of the Dead. Other movie, Land of the Dead. Doyle did his own Land of the Dead. Misfits with Danzig are back. I love my Michael Graves Misfits, whatever, but this is. As a, a time as a kid as the 90s, in the 90s, when I discovered the fucking Misfits. I got into all their shit, but they were still playing, and it was with Michael Graves, so it's like, yeah, that's cool to a fucking teenager who likes fucking shit like that. This is like a throwback, because it's got that 90s fucking hip. First album of that reminds me of fucking Doyle uh, Abomination. This is as Doyle 2 as we die. But that first album has a lot of like Pantera and Alice and Shades feel to it. Uh, I love it. And that's what I love too, but fucking I always hold that sacred in my heart. Alright with me. We both know how this ends, and you always crap now. Set me under your film. Oh well, kid. Oh yeah. Oh, I took that weed over. So yeah. So, I should tell you fucking cons anyway. 
Got a new fucking segment on here, a new spin-off show of my cooking show, Cooking with Manly. It's called Metal with Manly, my one true love in this life. It keeps me sane. Heavy metal music. And I'm pretty much doing that right now with this. As I'm talking shit on this. But uh what's up guys? It pretty much counts as a metal with manly segment. But I got something special for episode two of Metal with Manly, but but yeah. Fucking my dear friend of uh, Doyle, I don't drummer Wafer, he's no longer with them. I don't, I don't know, I don't care the simulation. Um I don't know I have no idea what but they got a new guy, Luke Wright, young kid. Fucking fresh face, fucking shredding drummer. 18 years old, fucking nice guy. Ugh. Friends on Facebook. Ugh. Can't wait to see him Ugh. in action. Oh, Doyle. This will be fun. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Wade Murph's a hell of a fucking dude. Uh, they play with Doyle. Live drummer, I gotta fight that reverb. I mean, I was drunk as shit. I was, I had a drug problem too. So me and my good buddy Red, he's gonna be joining me for the Cancer Song Show, and hopefully Doyle. We always go to Doyle shows. It's me and him and my buddy Jaden. I'm calling Jaden. I'm like, yo, Doyle's doing a fucking meet and greet. It's like 50 bucks. Oh, he's doing another one. It's a hundred. But hey, good for him, man. That's how you get to earn money, man. I don't blame him, but me as a fucking avid fan and a fucking drunken fucking druggo at the time, I'm like, yo, I'm going up on stage. I'm going to go up on stage. Cross her. It's okay, though. Let's do that. That reverb. And all those people there have my back for that. Some random fat dude with his 80-pound... 85 pound girlfriend hold him back he's like I'll send you to the hospital I'm like I'll send you to the board cunt and he's swinging at, swinging at me acting like this girl's hanging hold him back with two fingers I'm fucking leaping at him while fucking three people are holding me back and yeah fucking Doyle just comes over and just gives me the most frightening stare I've ever seen in my life. Like, this fucking dad look. Like, dude, chill the fuck out. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, the fucking way we were talking about it, I was like, dude, you fucking kick ass and jump. He's like, yo, what the fuck happened? Uh, he's supposed to be a firm request. That I'm looking at it like a week later. And he's like, yeah, I'm a vegan straight edge dude. But I'm not a dick about it. <laughs> yeah. Cool, it explains everything. So I don't know. I'm probably pissing a lot of people off doing this, but that's okay. Can't wait to see Alex with Cancer Slug. Can't wait to see him with Duel. That's gonna be a fun show. Both fun shows. Can't wait to party with the Slug. Fuck, they're also playing in Baltimore the next day. It's uh, February 24th and then 25th. 
somewhere in Baltimore on the 25th, uh, uh, Skid Row Garage, 24th of February next month. And, uh, we're looking good, kids. Looking good. Uh, let's turn that off. Uh, I see you skipping, that's cute. Here's a song featuring Randy Blythe from Lamb of God. Oh, I wish you posers would know him. Fun fact, Doyle is married to Elisa Liz, whatever, I don't know, new chick from Arch Enemy. Alyssa Liz, I don't know. Chick's hot. I don't know, blue hair chick. I like her better than Angela Glasgow, but I'm a, not an Arch Enemy fan. Michael Ma fucking up. That's fucking uh, Cargus. We well, love that. To the altar, be your virgin sacrifice. Nice and flimsy and good. It's a little cold though, but ah, fuck it. Alright. Let's try this January 2nd, 2003 chili. That's all melted. Liquids, yeah, there we go. This is how we like it. Nice cock arch. Burn hair, but that's okay. Uh, 
Nice and juicy. Big and burger, by the way. That's the case, anyone. Of the Doyle clan or Dan, uh, fucking Tommy Victor or Bruce Malachi, I don't even get in touch, let you give a fuck, but yeah, we have fun here. Love you all. Love you all, guys. Love the whole fucking crew. Tommy Victor, what a sweetheart. That's another thing, Tommy Victor is dancing. A fucking prong. Wade Murph is playing with them. I hope he's playing. They're on the fucking show. Uh, when is that? There's another show coming up. Ah, fucking up in the Poconos. Prong, Life of Agony, I believe. Um, yeah. Pretty sure our good friend Wade Murphy is going to be there. This is skimming through everything. I don't know how many songs I'm fucking going through. Alright, well. What do we have? It's only a half hour episode. This fucking fucking bad. That's what I'm talking about. Of course, it's talking shit. A band by love. All good guys. Most of my heroes are silly. Just Doyle, the rest of the crew is cool. I'm sure he is cool too, but. Yeah. Practice what you preach, I guess. Mm. I'm a cunt too. Fuck it. Mozzarella cheese or some 
year old frozen chili. So good. It's like a fucking sloppy Joe barbecue, but it's so good. Could have been chili dog, but no fucking potato buns on anyway. We got this old school fucking ball. Oh, oh, ball. Fucking fountain soda. Oh. Sesame bun. Anyway. Uh, thank you for watching Cooking with Manly. Middle and Manly is finally coming off the deck. It was kind of a half and half show, which was not interpreted. Pretty much because I only wanted, I wanted to play a lot more and not talk about Doyle. I love Doyle, but yeah. It happens and it became what it is. So. Please don't hate me, but Doyle fans, love you all, but I will not be more hypocritical on Cooking with Manly with any other, so, except for the stuff we really love, like the Misfits and Doyle. Hey, see you next time on Cooking with Manly, coming up next, Manly with Manly, I'm your host as always, my name's Manly. What's yours?